Today, we are cutting a mama cable provided to us by the kind folks over at AwesomeCables.com. These cables are encased in a thick fabric for tangle resistance and extreme durability. This week, we have the Awesome Cables Composure Cam, thanks to the generosity of the people at this wonderful company. And that's not all. We have a discount code for you, Cut Dead Awesome. Using it will give you 15% off on AwesomeCables.com. The cutter is going to begin attacking the cable by applying a constant, heavy, and direct pressure using the piercing tip of the spoon on the outer layer of this thick fabric encased cable. This is an iPhone charging cable. It has the lightning port on one end and a USB on the other. It is 10 feet long and that will enable you to wander around while your phone is plugged into the wall, more so than a standard three-foot iPhone charging cable. Using sort of a slow jackhammer technique to hopefully puncture this fabric, this is going to be an extensive cut here. Cutter picking the cable up off the board to examine the progress he's made, it doesn't seem that he's made much progress just yet, continuing with the slow rhythmic jackhammer as he pounds away at the outer layer of the fabric. I would not be surprised if this cut ends up being, let's say, in the six minute, maybe even ten minute range here. We've never cut something uncut that that is not a food item before. This will be a first. And it is, of course, all thanks to the bringers of the composure cam, awesomecables.com. Cutter continuing here with the rhythmic jackhammer pounding. I'm going to guess that he's going to begin experiencing a bit of fatigue once we hit the two minute, three minute mark here, which we are about to enter. He is picking it up once again. It seems, if, if I can see closely enough here, it would look as though he has pierced the outer layer of fabric on one end of the cable. The tricky part here is the cable is flexible, so once he penetrates the first layer of fabric along with the wires. All that's going to be preventing him from finishing the cut is another single layer of fabric. And that fabric is going to be quite flexible, quite bendy, and it's going to give him a lot of trouble as it's going to give with every pound. Whether or not he's able to pierce it in the end and what technique he's going to use remains to be seen. Now, if you pardon me for a moment, I'm going to get some coffee while we enjoy the rhythmic sounds of a jackhammer technique. It smells delicious. This is actually a very dark Colombian roast. It's my absolute favorite. Absolutely lovely. Let's have a sip here. A little, a little hot. Cutter looking as though he's very vigorously slicing this cable. Looking at the awesome cable's composure cam, you can see the grimaces that he is making. Clearing some of the copper dust away, it seems like he is making progress here, which is Absolutely fantastic. The cutter is bleeding. Did you see that? Did anyone see that? The cutter's pinky is actually bleeding. Wow. The speed at which he is cutting and sawing through this cable must have caused enough friction to break the skin or sort of burn the skin away from his pinky, and uh, you can see there's some blood on his his right hand, his right thumb, and his pointer. Now, wrapping the cable around the spoon and pulling as if to sever it doesn't seem to be working. The cable is holding up rather well here. 
adjusting it and reversing all ten feet of the mamba cable. look like he's coming towards the end of the cut here. The cable is bending at an angle that a fully attached cable would not bend at. And there- oh my goodness gracious, the cutter has managed to cut a ten foot mamba cable into absolutely astounding. A very special thanks to the folks at awesomecables.com for bringing the composure cam back for this thrilling cut. As always, remember to click the subscribe button and support the Cut That channel.